Wanted to show you this look outside from Sandia Peak uh, off toward the eastern horizon. Already seeing some of those beautiful colors making their way in. Sunrise officially not until 7:15. But notice we are waking up with some of those high clouds that continue to drift in from the west, uh, and that'll continue as we go throughout the morning hours. But I do think we will see a fair amount of sunshine as we go into our Wednesday afternoon. Uh, quick check of the satellite and the radar. Believe it or not, this is the same weather system that affected us in. Southern New Mexico yesterday at this time. It is now quickly moving across Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, bringing them some light to moderate rain. So just a heads up if you are going to be heading out towards, say, the Atlanta, Georgia area later this afternoon, as they are expecting some of that rain to move up in their area. Closer to home, we are kind of in between storm systems, if you will. So Clear skies, quiet and calm conditions out there this morning with just that thin band of high cloud cover moving out of eastern Arizona and then pushing from west to east. And then upstream, we're tracking our next winter storm set to arrive late tonight and into early Wednesday morning. So by tomorrow morning, even here in the Albuquerque and Santa Fe metro areas, we could be dealing with a little bit of that light snow out there. So again, travel could be a little tricky. So give yourself enough time to make it into work or wherever your destination may be. In the meantime, we do have those clear skies this morning. A dry air mass in place, fairly light winds. So these numbers are actually a little bit colder compared to yesterday morning at this time. Currently sitting at 26 here at the Sunport. We have 7 degrees in Taos, 22 degrees up the road in Trinidad with 13 degrees in Cortez. Gallup and Grant are all sitting into those teens right now with the upper 20s in Roswell and Carlsbad. Uh, you factor in those winds around 5 to 8 miles per hour. And yeah, we do have that wind chill value of 21 degrees here in Albuquerque. Feels more like three degrees below zero in Taos. Feels like the single digits in Farmington. And it feels like 17 degrees up in the Sacramento Mountains near Ruidoso. So for the rest of today, it'll be a cool and dry day with those daytime highs back in the upper 40s. We'll see mostly sunny skies. But notice as we go into the after, uh, late afternoon and evening hours, uh, we'll start to see some of that rain and snow moving in across eastern Arizona, out towards Ap Apache County, uh, southern sections of Colorado, western portions of New Mexico. And then as we go into Thursday, that snow will be spreading from west to east across central and northern portions of the state. Hence the reason for those winter weather advisories and winter storm mornings in effect for a majority of the state until early Friday morning. And then we'll be dealing with some of those scattered rain showers, mainly across southeast New Mexico. Not today, though. Fort Sumner, you're looking pretty nice. 55 degrees, 57 in Portales and Hobbs. Also the upper 50s in Roswell today. But by Thursday, we do have that 40% chance for rain with temperatures turning much cooler with the high of 48. Magdalena, you're also in the upper 40s today with the low 50s in Socorro. TRC topping out near 55. Cuba, you're looking at some high clouds overhead this afternoon with a high of 44. Farmington calling for temperatures in the upper 40s this afternoon, upper 20s tonight with that 80% chance for some of those sc scattered snow showers by Thursday. Red River, Angel Fire, upper 30s in the Española Valley will top out at 47. 46 in Santa Fe under mostly sunny skies, 27 degrees tonight. 36 tomorrow with that 90% chance for some of those on and off snow showers. You could see anywhere between two to five inches of snow before this system kind of wraps up late Thursday night and into early Friday morning. To Harris, we're at 45 today. Sandia Park at 43. Berlin warming into those low 50s with Los Lunas and Bosque Farms around 49. Placitas a bit cooler. Uh, checking in at 45. Rio Rancho, not a bad day for you. It'll be dry with a high of 47. And then we do turn much colder by tomorrow with highs only in the upper 30s. A 90% chance for some of those on and off snow showers. Dry on Friday with a high of 40, but then those 30s move back in for the weekend. And more snow moving in for Sunday and Monday with our third winter storm. And by Tuesday morning, yeah, we're going to be in the teens. Looking at 14 degrees here in Albuquerque by Tuesday day with a high of 33 under sunny skies.